Aliases and affairs. A focus of this morning's testimony in Chad Daybell's triple murder trial. He is accused of killing and conspiring to kill his first wife, Tammy Daybell, and two of his current wife, Lori Vallow Daybell's children, JJ Vallow and Tylee Ryan. Daybell's trial picked up this morning with an FBI tactical specialist. Nicole Heidemann got involved in the missing children's case, and it expanded to include the death of Lori's fourth husband, Charles Vallow, who you just saw. Now, Lori's brother, Alex Cox, they say shot and killed Charles out of what he claimed to be self-defense. Heidemann went over a summary of Daybell's internet search history beginning in October of 2018. The prosecution questioned her about how those searches matched up with timelines of different crimes. Some searches of interest were about a person named Ned Snyder. Heidemann said she learned through reviewing phone data and police reports that Lori referred to Charles as Ned Snyder or a variation of that name. And then there's also one on their bodies possessed after original occupant dies. What was it about that that stood out to you? The concept of possession is uh, sort of prevalent through this investigation. This is, this I believe, the first time we start seeing it where wherein Charles Vallow is, has become possessed by an entity named Ned. So um, again, I spoke yesterday about there being a lot of aliases in this case uh, on uh, with Chad and Lori, but also with um, some, some of the victims in this case where they are possessed by entities and therefore then be, being referred to by these names, um, Ned being one of them for Charles. The state called a Chandler Police Department officer as the second witness of the day. He testified about his role overseeing the investigation into Charles' death. We're going to have highlights from his testimony later on on the news at 4.